What's up guys and welcome back to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be very fun because I am going to be sharing some tips that I have for decorating your homes if you want like a western style home or like a ranchy style home. I am not an interior designer by any means, although I love interior design, but I do get a lot of compliments on our home. Uh, a lot of people want to know how I decorate our home, how they can decorate similarly to our home. Our home is nowhere near where I would like it to be. We do rent our house, rent a old ranch house. It's pretty outdated as far as like the things that are just like permanent in the house um, or things that we don't want to remodel because we don't want to pay for it. So I'm kind of working around that. Obviously, if money was no object and I could do like literally whatever I wanted, I would have a relatively different looking house but for what it is I think it looks pretty dang cute it's come together quite well so so anyway I'm gonna be sharing just like tips that I have that I like to share with people on how they could decorate kind of in a similar style as our home also just like some key things that you should have if you're trying to decorate in a Western home and then I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite Western home decor finds that are on Amazon and I'll include links and all the things down in the description so you can shop if any of them jump out at you. Uh, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel. We recently hit a thousand subscribers. So it just feels like a really big accomplishment to have hit a thousand subscribers. So that's really cool. Thank you guys so much for all your support. We love that. Um, and then if you like this kind of video, then let me know down in the comments so I can make other videos that are kind of of this similar style or any ideas that you have for future videos would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, let's just dive on in. Okay, so let's start off with the tips that I have for decorating like a Western style home. First thing is your color palette. So granted, you can do whatever you want, but I find it easier and just more aesthetically pleasing to use neutral earthy colored tones. Most any type of decor style, but specifically Western ranchy homes, I think just look better with neutral like earthy tones. Um, a lot of the decor like pieces tend to be more natural anyway. You know, there's lots of like woods and leathers and things like that. So it's very like natural materials. So earthy colors tend to look better. Now, obviously there's also things like turquoise that are very Western-y. So I feel like you could do pops of like brighter colors like that. Yeah, for the most part, you wanna keep a warm color palette. And I just find that having like more earthy tones, it's so much easier to decorate. I find that if I'm using beige colors or just like browns and earthy tones, then I have a lot harder time making things look good because it starts to feel like way too much. Like there's too much to look at if there's too many colors. So I feel like when you stick to like softer earthy tones that all kind of just have a similar look about them it's much easier to feel like you're like much easier to be happier with the type of decor that you have my second piece of advice for decorating in any style but but specifically with like a western style home is don't be in a rush it can be really easy you want to do everything all at once you want to just like get a room decorated all at one shot and if you're financially able to do so that's awesome but even then i feel like a lot of times what makes a western ranchy home like have a certain vibe is a lot of the pieces are like antique pieces or they tell a story and they're not just like bought at Hobby Lobby or whatever. Those things take time to find. It takes time, you know, over time, over a period of time to like go thrifting or to find things at like garage sales or to, you know, find things on Facebook Marketplace, um, to have like kind of those authentic, like reused pieces. I just feel like that takes time. You're not gonna probably get it all at once. And I love being able to like build character over time and like add to things. And I think there's just something to be said about sitting with a room for a while. Cause a lot of times when I move to a new place or if I have like a new room that I wanna decorate, if I just like fill it with stuff just for the sake of filling it with stuff, even with the intention of like replacing it as I go, I feel like it's a lot harder to like have a vision if 
a space is already like super full and cluttered but if it's empty and you're kind of just adding as you go i feel like it's easier to stay on track and like be inspired in a certain way my third tip is to use your surroundings i like to decorate a ranchy style home based on what the surroundings are of where i live so where i currently live is the desert like the high desert lots of sagebrush so i will actually go out and like into our pasture and like cut pieces of sagebrush and like put them in vases and use that as like decor and then like dried plants and things like that to just like bring the vibe of outside in i think is really fun and then also things like that we already have so we have a ton of saddles and like horse you know things tack head stalls lots of leather pieces, bits, spurs, all that kind of stuff so I that I've just collected over the years and that my husband brought with him when we got together. And so been able to incorporate that into our home decor because we don't obviously use all of it. And even if we do use all of it, like decorating with things even that you like use, I feel like can be really fun. And it's obviously like you're getting like a two for one deal. So like my husband's saddle uh, is our like main display saddle in our house. It's like right when you walk in the front door, it's his saddle that he actually uses and rides in. But one, he doesn't ride in it every single day, so it's not like that inconvenient to keep it in the house. It's just like a cool talking piece. It's not just like some random saddle, it's actually his real saddle that he uses. So I kind of love that there's like a story with it. And so kind of continuing on with that, my fourth tip is to use practical items as decor. So this is like really big with like kitchens and stuff, but you can do it with other things too. But I like to decorate like with my kitchen utensils that I use. So like I'll put out, you know, if I have like bowls that I really enjoy using and they're cute, I'll like display them instead of um, like hiding them in a cabinet. I'll actually have them out on display and those are the ones that I really use. And then same thing with like, uh, I did this little like shelf thing in our kitchen that I hung like my colander on and I have like an apron hanging from it. And I just made it like a little, just, like a little space that has decor on it but it looks really cute and I just like the way that it is overall. I think decorating with things that are practical and that you actually use saves money so you're not just filling spaces with random things you're actually decorating with things that you use and I think that's kind of fun. And then kind of my last tip or piece of advice is to not be afraid to like move things around and get creative. I am constantly rearranging our house. I just enjoy changing up decor styles. I get like kind of bored with the way that things look. <laughs> I feel like I'm always adding things, taking away things, moving things from one thing, one room to another. So, you know, you can get creative with how you use things, where you put things, um, you know, just have fun with it and try different things and see what you like and what feels right for you. And then before we dive into like the links and the things that I've actually found on Amazon that I'll share with you I just want to kind of encourage anybody who maybe doesn't totally get like how to how to pull together pieces to get that Western home decor style so key things that you're gonna be looking for are things that are like cowhide or cow print um, lots of leather things um, leather materials and things like that um, furs and, and hides and coats and things like that. Um, really popular and trendy skulls, antlers, deer sheds, that kind of thing is very popular. And then just utilizing cowboy necessities like saddles, bridles, head stalls, spurs, all that sort of thing. Also like as far as like greenery, you know, kind of like I said before, I use sagebrush and different things like that, but like dried flowers and dried plants. One, I think look really pretty and they're very like westerny aesthetic, but two, you don't have to water them. So that's a bonus for me because I am not the best at remembering to water my plants. Uh, dried plants are a big win in my house. Okay, so now let's move on to the fun stuff, which is the items that I found on Amazon. There's obviously a million different things on Amazon, so I've kind of just pulled together like a short list of some of like the best things that I feel like I've found in general. This is just like a very kind of random list of Western home decor pieces. I can do more videos that are like more specific in the future if you guys like this sort of thing. Like I can do like specifically for like Western bedrooms or Western bathrooms and things like that. Decor finds that I have, but this is specifically Amazon links and things for um, Western home decor. That's just kind of random that I found that I threw together all in one list. We're gonna jump on into that. I will also have everything that I mentioned in this section 
linked down in the description box but um there's also like a master list that i've created that kind of just has like all of this and more um linked as well so that will also be down in the description if you just kind of want to browse for yourself so let's jump on into the amazon links okay so the first item is this cactus coat hanger hat hanger situation i think this is the cutest thing ever we have a coat rack in our entryway but it's just like a normal coat rack and like i we hang obviously like winter coats on it we hang all of our cowboy hats on it but i think this cactus thing is so cute and i really need it in my life to put all my stuff on because it just goes with our vibe a little bit more than the one i have the next thing is just a cowhide rug but this cowhide rug in particular is the one that i have and i love it because i feel like it's bigger than most cowhide rugs um a lot of people that i know that have cowhide rugs are they're not like small but they're just like i don't know a general size whereas this one is the one that i ordered and it's huge so it takes up a ton of space um which is really cool and also i use this for our wedding like we stood on this up at the altar and then we like draped it over a table and like we've used it for a few different things it's like a tablecloth like i feel like cowhide rugs can be so versatile people put them on their walls sometimes as decor so that's really fun kind of a fun way to do it so you know a lot of different ways that you could do a cowhide rug. The next thing on this list is this cowhide bench. And oh, this is so pretty. I need this bench so bad. I love the like colors of it. It's just like simple, so pretty. I love this this bench so much. Um, The next thing are these like leather pillows. I don't know if these are real leather. They might be like a pleather, but I do know people that have these and they look really nice i'm planning on ordering like four of them for our, our bed and then i actually want more for our couch so more than four probably like six <laughs> um but anyway i think that they are so cute and just like a simple way of adding like a little bit of a western flair without being like too over the top they're just i think they just add a little something something that looks really good so i definitely would recommend these the next thing is this cowhide chair or not really cowhide more cow print because it's not a cowhide material it is just like a cow print chair but i think it's so cute and actually i do have this chair and i really really love it it's actually very comfortable just pretty and i think it's kind of fun i keep it in my office and i just think it's really cute so i really like it and then the next one is this southwestern bench so another bench but I've had my eye on this bench for so long and now I'm like conflicted between this one and the cowhide bench I think this bench is really pretty if you love a pop of color kind of love that like woven -y material that it has it's just really cute really fun and then next are these pillows they're like the hook what are, what are these called like the hook I think like hook something pillows right they're like Oh, they're so cute. So there's this Longhorn one and then this saddle pillow and I think they are just the cutest things ever. They'd be really cute in like a kid's room or I mean even on your couch honestly. I think they're just so fun, so cute. I love these pillows. Next is bedding. This bedding is like this western like neutral print which I love that it's not like too over the top. I feel like this would be really good in either a kid's room or an adult's room just because of its like simplicity this is actually from paseo road which i have a code if you want to shop directly on their website just use code elrod and you'll get a discount um but you can also find it on amazon so i'll have the amazon link down below but you can also go to paseoroad.com and use code elrod and you will save money that way but it's such a pretty material our current bed spread is from paseo road i didn't get this pattern and i like a little bit regret it because i love it so much but i wanted something that was like just plain white and neutral just my brain works better that way so <laughs> i got just like a plain white bedding from them but it's the same like material as this bedding and it's like the highest quality bedding i've ever owned it's so good so i definitely recommend this bedding and then this other bedding that i found is so pretty and i think it would be so cute in like the fall and the winter it's like this velvety rust color and like velvety material and i just think it's so pretty and i'm really obsessed and it's actually a really good price so i love this i think this is such a beautiful comforter i definitely like get fall vibes from it and as we're entering into fall i just think this is like oh, so cute next are these southwestern like silverware set um and this is just something i've had saved for a long time um that i don't need because we got a bunch of new silverware when we got married but i'm also just like oh i love it so much i think it's so pretty it's just like the little things you know i just love little details that make like 
simple things westerny so kind of obsessed with it okay now we're on to curtains uh another thing that i love i actually used to hate curtains like buying curtains was just like not my thing and now i'm kind of like i see the power that is in curtains so these two are like some of the cutest ones that i've seen on amazon the first one being the this like white ruffly material and i think it's so pretty and elegant and simple and neutral <laughs> <sighs> and then the second pair of curtains that I really love are again like the velvety I think look very similar to the bedding I wouldn't put them in the same room as that bedding because that'd be a lot of like orange velvet but I think they're just so elegant and pretty looking and like the velvety material is very western trendy so you would definitely fit in with the vibes with those curtains and I love the color and then next is this saddle print and if you go to the link you can choose like from different types of saddles and like there's just different options you could even do like a little gallery wall with like different like the different photos of saddles on it I think would be really fun and then the last one is another wall art print and again if you go to this link there's like different options to choose from and all of them are so pretty but I really liked this like cow one because Again, kind of a minimal look to it. All right, well, as you can tell, I have very fussy, unhappy children. So we're gonna go play, not sit here and film anymore. But I hope you guys liked this video. And again, make sure to leave a comment down below on anything that you want me to film. Like if there's other videos similar to this one or like different vibes that you like, I'm more than happy to make videos on this kind of thing. I love shopping, so <laughs> I'm kind of down for it. And then also make sure to subscribe and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.